Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. Um, I, I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. And for those of you tuning in for the very first time, my name is Kathy Renee and I film makeup tutorials. So today, not only that I'm gonna be doing a tutorial, at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and review this palette for you guys. I know I'm kind of late on this, but I definitely want to be trying something new, something different here, something out of my element. And it doesn't hurt to try new things, you know? So without for further ado, I'm going to quit rambling on. Let's go get started and um, see you guys to the end. Enjoy the show, guys. So to begin, I went ahead and uh, used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color taupe um, to do my eyebrows, as you can see right over here. Also, I went ahead and used the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Light Ivory to carve out my eyebrows, also to use it as a concealer for my lid. And if you guys happen to see some tape here, it is because I like to use it to be um, for, its, for my looks to be sharp, so that way um, it can look more defined since I have hooded lids. And we're going to be going into the Norvina palette. Okay, so first color that I'm going to be using is this color right over here, which is Soul. The brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M330 brush. And then I'm dipping the brush into the palette, and then I'm dusting it off because I want to build the color up first. And then I'm going to go over here where my, kind of like my brow bone is, where my eye socket is. We're going to use that as a guide. And I'm just going to be bringing the brush back and forth for now. And then, and until I see no more color pay off, I'm going to be going ahead. I'm going to go ahead and blend it like in little circular motions. So that way we can have that really pretty blend. I'm just going to be doing the same thing back and forth. Windshield wiper motions. And then I'm going to be doing little circles. And this can be like a little tedious, but I prom um, by the way, I, I went ahead and dipped the uh, brush into the palette and then I'm not dusting it off this time. I'm just going to go in, but I only dipped it in there just like a tiny bit. All right. So what was I saying? But yeah, just like keep blending it out. And also you just got to keep building her up at the same time. And it's okay if it comes out harsh and uneven, just make sure that it's blended because we're gonna be adding more color on there. All right, so I think it's pretty even. We're gonna move on to the next shade. So the next color that I'm gonna be using is Passion right over here. And the brush that I will be using is a Morphe M433 brush. And then I'm just, I dip the brush into the palette. I'm not dusting it off. I know what I'm doing. I'm just packing in the outer corner right over here. And at the same time, I'm going to be blending it. So just take your time blending this. Remember, you guys, this is a process. So don't feel rushed at all. But yeah, I'm just going to be blending her away. And just take your time with it. If you want to build her up, go ahead. But I'm still going to be working on her here. And it's okay if like you bring it much more into the lid. We're going to be cutting the crease regardless. Okay, so I feel blended. We're going to be moving on. I cut the crease using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Flat White Corrector. And the brush that I use is the Morphe M167 brush. It is a flat packer brush. Um, this is what I, I like to use, especially when cutting the crease. I feel like it's um, flat and wide, and also it's gonna it's really easy to manage my hooded lids. All right, so going back into the palette, we're gonna be going in with the color Celestial. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe M124 brush. It's a small packer brush. All right, so what I went ahead and did was just pack the brush into the color or the palette, however you guys wanna word it. And then I'm just, I'm not dusting it off because that's, you know, I just want it to be really pigmented here. And I'm taking advantage of the fact that the concealer is still wet so that way you can go ahead and grab on that color. So just be really patient with, with this, you guys. And then just like, be really patient. Take your time. This is like no rush. And if you have to be somewhere in 30 minutes, then you, you may want to get a, an easier makeup look than this. But yeah, I, I did the brush into the palette one more time. I'm still packing her in there. And since you guys pretty much know the drill, um, so I just wanted to update you guys. Um, I started watching American Horror Story. Like, I've seen it before. But since it's on Netflix, I started binge watching it. And then, so far, I'm on season four. But I feel like, I feel like I'm not, it's not that interesting than Murder House, than The Asylum, and also The Coven one. The, the Freak Show, hmm, it's a hit or miss for me, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure the other seasons are gonna go ahead and make up for it. And something interesting that I recently found out, I'm sorry if I spoil it for you guys, but one of the, I guess, Pepper from season two is actually in season four. And it shows her story before she went into the asylum. So I thought that was pretty interesting there that they that they did that. All right, so going back into the palette, um, I'm gonna be going in with Love Child right over here. And then the brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M224 brush. It's a flat brush. All right, so I'm just dipped the brush into the palette, and what I'm doing right now, and I'm just packing in the color here and um on this pale part over here kind of like inner corner of the eye but to the inner corner to the mid corner if that makes sense and then i'm gonna go ahead and I keep packing in the color there and i'm taking advantage of the fact that the concealer is still wet i'm just packing around here and blending it and please be careful you guys because this is a cut crease and then sometimes I tend to go above than what it is and sometimes like the camera grabs it when I'm actually taking photos of it and it doesn't look cute but yes all right so I'm back or whatever so for eyeliner I went ahead and used the epic ink eyeliner from NYX cosmetics and black um this is what it looks like for the above waterline I went ahead and used the the retractable eyeliner in brown for my upper waterline right over here and then for my lower lash line i went ahead and use the uh, the retractable pencil in white as you can see over here as well for lashes i'm going to be using the lily lashes in the style dallas right over here i don't know if y'all can see that but it looks so pretty okay so moving on to the rest of the face i'm gonna go ahead and use the jeffree star cosmetics lip grid frost all over my face i'm not gonna use anything in particular i'm just gonna use my fingers because it's like it has that natural warmth to like activate all like the pretty glitters also when doing this or rubbing it in please be careful to get it in your eye i don't want you guys getting hurt and on top of that um i don't want you guys ruining your beautiful creation on your eyes all right, so I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 190. I usually put two palms on each side of my face. However, since we're gonna be um, using the last job here, it kind of looks like this. Don't make fun of me for the way that I look. And to blend everything out, I'm gonna be using the Juno & Co Velvet Beauty Blender. Um, for best results, make sure to wet it so that way you can spread um, everything evenly. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to a concealer. For concealer, I went ahead and used the Fenty Beauty um, Pro, Con uh, Pro Filter Concealer in the color 190. I placed it like on my forehead, underneath my eye, along my nose, cupid's bow, and also my chin. I'm going to be blending this with the same beauty blender. Um, for best results, please remember to wet it. Um, that way everything can blend beautifully and evenly. 
For cream contour, we're going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color medium Biscay. I went ahead and put it um, along my um, cheek area right over here, my forehead, along the side of my nose, around my lips, and um, a little bit like underneath the jaw area. And then we will be using the same um, Juno & Co Velvet Beauty Blender. Again, for best results, I'll make sure that it's wet so that we can blend um, really pretty and really beautifully. So, I'm back. So, for baking, I went ahead and used the Bake and Set from Morphe in the color Banana. Looks a little something like this. I went ahead and used it, uh, used it underneath my um, eyes right over here because I tend to crease a lot. I went ahead and also used it on the middle of my forehead because... I'm really greasy and it doesn't look like I did it but I promise you that I did it's just that I'm really greasy and really oily that it just absorbed it which is a good thing that's what we want and then I went ahead and did it like along like my jawline cheekbone area I went a little bit higher than usual okay so I went ahead and corrected the jawline because this was higher than this was lower this was higher but I corrected it the reason why I um, do this along my jawline and my cheek area because I want to look more chiseled since I have an extremely, extremely round oval face. And I usually leave this on for about two minutes and I usually dust it off. Okay, so going back into the palette, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be going in with this shade over here called Dreamer. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe M573 brush. You can use any fluffy brush for this. Um, I'm using the fluffy brush or you can use a highlighter brush because this is what we're doing. And then I'm just pressing on the pigment right here. I didn't dust it off, okay? And you can see it already. This is beautiful. And then we're just going to go back and forth and then rub it in there doing little circular motions. We will be doing the temple area, pardon the hair that's in the way. I'm doing my cupid's bow. As good as that, I'm kind of sweaty right now. So the sweat is like going to grab onto the color. Sorry if it sounds gross. And then I'm doing my cupid's bow. Same color, different brush. The brush that I will be using is the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. I do have a discount code. I'm going to link it down below and it will save you 10% um, off the website. All right, so the, with the brush, I went ahead and dipped it into the palette and then I'm just going to go a little circular motions right here in the inner corner so you can have that really pretty glow. Back into the palette, I'm going to go ahead and use it underneath my brow bone here. Not the whole thing. Sometimes I do it. But for this look, I just feel like doing it from like here, from the middle of it, and then just go all the way back. Dip back into the palette. I'm going to be going up and down my nose here. I hope you guys can see that. And what's good is that I'm kind of sweaty. It's going to make that extra glow. And the brush that we were using in the beginning for the highlighting brush, um, you can use another brush. I'm going to use the same one. With the excess amount that I have in it, I don't have any product on. I mean, we're gonna have we're gonna have the product of what we used earlier, but with the same um, brush that we used, I'm just gonna be going back and forth to blend that out, and then I'm gonna be um, doing it on the tip of my nose right over here. So Alright, moving on, finishing the eyes, we're gonna be going back into the palette. We're gonna be using the colors here, eccentric and passion, right over here. We're just creating our own um, colors at this point. And then I'm, I went ahead and dipped the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off and I'm just um, lightly blending the bottom lid here. And one of the reasons why I do this is because I have hooded lids. And since I have hooded lids, and it makes, how is it? It doesn't overpower the eye look, if that makes sense. So just think of your eyeball like as the picture and like the eyeshadow that's on top and the bottom of it, of the frames of it. So I'll of camera I went ahead and did my lips and my hair in case you haven't noticed for lips I went ahead and used the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Hollywood um it's kind of like a plum base and I feel like it matches the look all right so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed it also we're gonna discuss my um thoughts on the Norvita palette okay so I know I'm kind of late reviewing it but I'm trying out something different I'm usually doing makeup looks on this channel and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and my honest opinion on the palette 
um the palette has really good colors i like the way that it blends um now look the colors are really pretty however norvina if you guys don't know her um she's kind of like a bright person and by bright by meaning she, by meaning she does all these vivid colors like really bright um pastels like um like bright blues bright pinks peach anything you can think of it's gonna be freaking bright however um now this is one of the first palettes that she made she has other volumes out there so i understand that she wanted to not only do it based on i guess her personality but she wanted to do it based on what was created in the past i guess other than that i do like the formula i like everything else and to me uh, this is a palette that i still um continue to use and i really like it. and you can create so many looks with it. i really like this palette and if you guys haven't get it right now you guys are gonna enjoy it but thank you guys so much for sticking with me for this long during the video um again i tried something new which was uh reviewing something that's something out of my element i don't really do it but yeah i just wanted to do something different on the channel so i hope you guys recreate this look let me know i have social media um follow me on instagram on tiktok on twitter snapchat i'm gonna link my things down below so you guys can follow me we can chat also i would really appreciate it if you guys um liked also subscribe to my channel please consider it i would really appreciate that so enough rambling on um you guys have a nice one